Hey everybody, welcome to Building Champion Worship. I'm Jimmy Fisher, and today we're gonna to talk about avoiding burnout in leading worship. Now, obviously everybody has to deal with burnout, whether you're a musician, singer, um, anybody in ministry, um, burnout is a real problem and a real thing that we have to face. And so today I wanna to give you a couple of tips that may help you to avoid it, or when you find yourself in burnout, what you can do to kind of really regain and refresh yourself so that you can be what God has called you to be and be who God has called you to be in ministry. First of all, let's talk about what burnout is, or maybe more importantly, what are the signs that you may be feeling burnout? For worship leaders, some of those signs are you don't really look at new music. You're, you're not really always getting uh, fed by new music, new material. Um, sometimes you look at your old playlists and you start doing more old playlists than you really do trying to feed the congregation new songs and, and new worship experiences. And another sign might be just even in your rehearsals, it's kind of like the laxical, um, let's get in here, let's find out what songs we're gonna sing. And you don't really you know, engage in worship even in your rehearsals. Um, for worship members, worship team members, some of those signs might be um, the same where you come to rehearsal just to get the song, I'm ready, um, let me get my part, I know it, I know the song, I don't have to rehearse there. Or sometimes you may come late. You may also just experience that in worship on Sunday. You might just go through the motions as it relates to just being on stage. You're more concerned about your part or you're more concerned about the sound system or the lights. You are just thinking about other things other than the object of your worship, which is God. Another sign is your lack of prayer and preparation, your lack of studying God's word and spending time with God in prayer and in your own personal worship. And so you want to really look at what you do during the week. Do you spend time with God on a uh, daily basis? Is it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Um, do you have a Bible study that you're going to where you're being fed, not just on Sundays, um, or you're going through a Bible, particular Bible study online? That would be a great thing. But sometimes when you lack those things, it can cause burnout because you're spending so much energy and expensing so much ministry energy on Sunday mornings and you're not getting filled back up during the week. So those are some of the signs of burnout. And so we wanna talk about a couple of things that you can do. These are tips from me that I think that you can do to kind of help avoid burnout or when you're in it to help you get out of it. Tip number one is to take some time off if you can. A week, a two weeks, um, if you can take more, that would be great. Get away from the ministry aspect of it in terms of every seven days and really allow God to speak to your heart and refresh you as it relates to your personal worship and then you ministering to other people. Many of you are like me and you're on staff at a church and you are leading worship every Sunday or every other Sunday. And it might be hard to actually take that time off, but I'm telling you, it is worth it because you need to refresh yourself. Jesus gives us an example in Luke chapter 5, verse 15 and 16, where the crowds are pressing to see him, but the Bible says that Jesus pulls away, and Jesus often pulled away to get times of refreshing and to be alone with God. And so we understand just how important Jesus needed to pull away. And you think about it, his ministry was to save the whole world. And if Jesus had the understanding that he needed to pull away from ministry and get a time of refreshing, so should we. The second thing is in our pulling away, don't just take that time to lay out on the couch and you know watch TV and catch up on your latest Netflix. We take that time to actually spend with God. We allow his word to refresh us. We spend our time in prayer, spending some time just allowing God to speak to your heart. You may want to listen to some encouraging sermons and just allow God's word to feed your spirit. But really use that time that you're taking off to be intentional about spending time with God and allowing him to refresh you. David gives us encouragement in Psalm 27, 14, when he says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage for he shall strengthen your heart. And so when we wait on God, when we stay in his presence, when we allow his word to wash over us and cleanse us, 
then he refreshes us and gives us everything that we need to get back in the race and to continue to fight and lead God's people. So we're taking time off, we're spending time in the word, and then finally, we are also remembering the reason why we lead worship and what it's for. I always say that we lead worship by worshiping. And so when you come back and you really understand that we have the opportunity to be in the presence of God, and you can do that anywhere. You can do it on the stage, you can do it in your car, it can be at your house. But when you step back and you remember that I am worshiping the Almighty God, the Bible lets us know that He revives us morning by morning. We receive mercies from God. The Bible also declares in Galatians not to be weary in well-doing because we will reap if we faint not. So I hope these three things will help you avoid burnout. And if you are burnout, please use these tips and allow God to refresh you, to revive you, so that you can get back to ministering and allow God to use you. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope that these words have encouraged you. But if you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comment section and we'd love to respond to that. I'm Jimmy Fisher, and I'll see you next time on Building Champion Worship.